Hi everyone, this is the PRS SE245. Just like to say thanks to Guitar Works for lending me this guitar to demo. Um, they haven't sponsored to do this, they've just lent me uh, the guitar uh, very kindly. So let's dive into the, some of the specs. So this is the, uh, obviously the PRS SE245. This is the tobacco sunburst option. So it has these 245S pickups on there, similar to a Les Paul, you know, the McCarty kind of style as well, the, the US PRS uh, manufacturers uh, make. Um, so we just have the basic volume and the basic tone knobs kind of here. We have the three-way toggle pickup selector, so we have the neck, the middle, so it's both pickups and the bridge. We have a fat, wide mahogany neck with 22 frets, which is very nice in the hands. Um, nice, it's kind of a lacquered finish at the back. Fantastic feel, neck, very solid. Rosewood fingerboard uh, with the bird inlays, which is a nice touch, very class uh, kind of feel to the guitar. Full mahogany body, so this is a full mahogany beast. We have the stop tail bridge and tuners, which I quite like, especially on this range of guitars, because sometimes the tremolo can get a bit fiddly, and I just find for these more budget guitars, you have this nice stop tail and it just works like a dream. Everything's nickel hardware, we have a 24.5 scale length, so it's a little bit on the shorter side, but it plays well because of that, I think. So um, let's dig into some of the sounds, because that's probably what you're here for. So I've got this going straight into the Orange Rock of Herb uh, Mark III. It's on a reduced setting, so I'm gonna go through some of the clean, some of the push clean sounds, I'm gonna do some of the bluesy sounds, and then push into the crunch and more of the higher gain stuff. Uh, across all of the settings. Um, I'll try my best to do it justice. Playability-wise, I think it's fantastic. I think this is just, I got it out of the bag like 10 minutes ago and it really just feels nice to play. It has a great setup already, no intonation problems. Uh, it really is fantastic. So let's start with the clean in the bridge pickup position. So just this back pickup is on. Um, I've just knocked the volume back just because this amp can get a bit crunchy on the clean sound. So. We'll just see how that sounds. So nice and chimey, clean. Let's switch to the neck pickup here as well. Uh, we get more of a bluesy kind of neck sound. Nice kind of bassy feel, we can roll that off a little bit. To make the bass even more kind of present. Nice kind of sound, mellow tones, fast array of things you can play. Let's do the neck and the bridge together. And we just get this kind of more twangy kind of sound as you would expect. I really like the way that clean sounds. It's really chimey and has enough low end to kind of drive, but it doesn't really lose the clarity. You could argue that the neck one is a little tiny bit on the muddy side, but you can clean that up with the EQ on the amp um, if you need to. So let's do the bridge pickup again with a bit more of a crunch, uh, just pushing that clean channel a little bit. Um. <laughs> Thank you. 
I really like the clarity those pickups bring. The bridge pickup is really nice on that kind of pushed clean. We'll go to the um, kind of neck pickup. Giving that kind of uh, Les Paul kind of uh, raunchy kind of earthy throaty tone. So we'll slip to the uh, neck and bridge together. middle combination is really just really just delivering for me so uh, let's hit the uh, crunch channel Some sounds from that bridge pickup. We'll switch into the neck pickup now. really get is that kind of really clear but also earthy throaty tone with that middle combination I'm really enjoying that um, and I've played this for a little bit now and it's really staying in tune so I push things pretty hard stays perfectly in tune so Kudos on that. I think that's a lot to do with the mahogany, mahogany combination and the stop tail. Um, the tuners are really cool as well. They, they're staying nice and tuned. And the nut work must be good because that's um, keeping it in tune as well. So let's go to high gain just for the last little bit here.
Sounds like together. This guitar is really versatile and it has its place in all sorts of things. So when you get to the high gain stuff, I wasn't liking the bridge neck up combination as much, but that is that's not uncommon. So but the, the thing was for the cleans and the crunch setting, that setting on the pickups both together was probably my preferred option. It was nice, kind of loose, but also had a tight uh, punch to it as well. So it's it's really nice to have that versatility um, throughout the guitar. And when you maybe get to the higher gain stuff, really the bridge pickup is where I default to um, on most of these kind of star guitars with the humbuckers. It's, it's just a personal preference of mine, but really showing that there's so much versatility. Um, this guitar is like, is it 600 bucks or something like that? So it's amazing value. Um, and craftsmanship. It reminds me of the Gretsch that I uh, reviewed that not too long ago. I'll pop a thing up here um, for you to watch that video if you're interested. But it reminds me of that, but just has a bit more bells and whistles, a little bit more refined. Um, but you know, the price tag enforces that. So uh, the, I find this is there's probably a guitar you could keep for a long, long, long time, and it would probably serve you very, very well. I just think PRS are blowing it out of the park with these made in Indonesia guitars. I just think they're fantastic. I mean, even just the finish, you can kind of see. You know, kind of glowing in the lights. It's it's not got a curved top, it's a flat top with a slight bevel on it. But I just think it's awesome for the money. I don't think you need anything else. If you're after a double humbucker kind of style guitar, Les Paul, nice cutaway, it feels amazing to play. Like um, the action is just a nice height. Um, everything's just set up great. Um, you would really expect that with a much higher end guitar and I find that you can spend money, way more money on guitars than this and end up with a much worse product. So uh, it's definitely worth checking out, going down the Oka Guitar Store or if you're in Canada, order it from Guitar Works. Um, they're, they're great guys, so check that out. Um, but I will see you next time and if you like this video, please subscribe and you will get more notifications of when they come out. See you soon.